Good evening, good people. It's your boy Gaming Dad, and I'm back with another one. Had to do the review on this Neo Grip by the good people over at Skull Company. And um, from the box, it looks pretty darn nifty. I'm ready to open this box and get into it. The same thing, it's the back of the box here. What's going on here? It says, um, for all hand sizes, interchangeable grips. Okay. Strength and switch body. Uh, fits regular switch and OLED. Okay. Okay. All right, let's see what's getting into this box. Let me go ahead and get my trusty dandy knife. Ah, and back. If I can get it in here. Shout out to Flossy Carver, man. I can't, can't say I got that knife thing on my own. But he do it, it's so funny. But, without any further ado, let's open this box and see what we get. All right, screw this up a little bit. Go ahead and slide this out. Uh, you, when, you, when you first get it, you think you got an OLED. <laughs> but um, don't be shocked because it don't look like no OLED unless OLED is made out of paper. Okay, I do like, okay, the size of it, you know, it's going to do, let me get this back in there. It's going to do what you need it to do. Um, I don't like the plastic. It's really light. I mean, of course, this is a grip. Um, I like the fact that they put this this picture of the OLED in here to give you the confidence of like it'll fit the OLED. Um, but it said it'll fit the original switch too, so we have to pull that rear one out and see if it fits as well. Um, let's see what this back say. So you can remove the, oh, so these grips removed. Okay, uh, I see. Let's take first of all. Let's take this out. Let's take this little plastic thing out. I'm assuming it should come out pretty pretty easily. All right, so these are the directions. Uh, back to the unit. Ah, uh, it's it's pretty sturdy here, but I'm assuming to adjust it back to for the regular switch, you have to unscrew these screws and then rescrew them. It, I mean, you can see, you can't really see here. Maybe you can. There's three little spots right there where you have to rescrew it back in. But okay, so far so good. Nothing else really moves. So let's um, let's get a switch in. Oh, ah! So you they kind of snap in right there, and you kind of just give it a little push right there. You have to, you kind of have to put your bottom finger here on the bottom, and then move it. But it, they come off pretty easily. So uh, I don't know about this grip here. Let's see what other grips they have to offer. Let's put that down for a second. And so they have they have a quite a variety of arrangement of different grips. Let's see, um, these feel like the ones that's already on there. Uh, this got a different little texture to it, but it's still all just smooth plastic. One thing I don't like, I wouldn't knock it because of that. The smooth plastic is a no-no. Do not like that. Let's put these on here. All right, they, they clap on pretty easy. Um, if I had to compare these two grips, I'll, this one here gives it a little bit more, a little bit more, uh, how can I say, a nice hand grip. Um, so you can kind of, if, you, if you're in a game that's kind of intense, you can dig in. This was, you know, it, it's okay. It just, you know, it's just, my hands is here. See what I'm saying? And of course you're like, what you talking But like, my hands don't quite, with this one here, it don't, how can I say this properly? Well, I have more, if you can see yourself visually, I have more room to kind of touch here. So my hands will be out here and this grip is a little flat. I think it's a better way to look at it. And see, it's flatter here but it's you know it's more beefier gripper here so i can tell you right now these grips won't be used maybe maybe they might be better for smaller hands smaller hands might get this one but not the, not the board let's see what these other ones see if the, these other ones in this pack are any different than oh they are different all right this one here has as you can see this one here has like a Little knob on there, so it kind of nice little place for your fingers, almost like a regular controller. This one here is a little smoother, so maybe you can have more grip down here, but you know your, your button placement here is not in the way. This one, yeah, let's, let's put it on. That's how we do it. Oh, okay. Now this one here kind of gives you a little more width 
out here on the end. If you like your controllers to be that way. Uh, and this one here is a little slimmer. So they give you some variety. I mean, kudos to them. All right, so look, without any further ado, let's go ahead and get a switch light in this bad boy right now. All right, so we're back and I, I got it in my hand. I like the alternating grips because and like I'm noticing now, like, you know what, this hand might feel better with it kind of off like this one a little smaller, this one a little bigger, but you can switch those up. And I, and I like, I, I'm really digging that. Hand placement is right. And I like the off center because uh, of how low this D-pad is here. So this particular side gives me a more uh, more comfortable um, grip on this, this Joy-Con here. But it just makes my get to the buttons, I might have to kind of readjust. So, but this one here is great. I mean, this is, this is, I'm pretty impressed for a little grip. Um, as for protection, I don't offer you a whole lot of protection. You know, it's strictly a grip in nature. The packet say it'll, it'll protect it, protect the switch. Yeah, if, if the switch was to fall on these corners here, but that switch fall up here is uh, <laughs> new Joy-Cons it may be. Or even if it fall flat, this right here might protect a little bit of it, but once again, I mean, it don't provide a whole lot of protection. So if you're looking for uh, this grip to provide you excellent um, protection, I think you're missing the boat. However, I think it's a pretty good grip. Um, I forgot how much I paid for it. I did pay for it with my own money from Amazon. Um, the link will be in the description. Um, oh, I see my joint kind of came up. Um, but it's pretty nice. Now, the question will be, can I dock this bad boy? Let's check it out. All right, we're back and I can tell you it's probably not going to dock. Even though it did not advertise it was gonna dock, but I just think it's not, I'm gonna say it uh, wide enough. We'll see. Let's put this bad boy in. And, uh-oh. I believe this bad boy docks. It does. Check it out. Okay, so what happens is it will dock, but what, one thing you're gonna notice is that these little skull can, this, this skull can design right there, that one little thing there is gonna cause it to expand just a tad bit. If you can see it here, the switch goes out just a tad bit. Let me put it out. But you can get away with docking it. If you don't mind your, your dock being expanded just a tad bit, I mean, but it works. That thing is, oh, well, let me take that back. Oh, there, there it is. Okay, so it takes a little maneuvering, but it's flush. It's in there. Um, wow, so listen, another, another point. It can dock, it is not as flush, I think, as most people would like it to be, but uh, it docks, so. Man, okay, so comfort, it gets a gets an A plus. You don't get ready to play that Shimigami Tensei. Never played Shimigami Tensei in my life, but I'm giving it a try. But um, but back to overall comfort, uh, I definitely give it a four out of five for comfort. Um, I just don't like the plastic. I think the only thing I can knock it on is that the plastic, this smooth plastic, is is terrible. I wish more companies took the approach that satisfied took on their grip and they gave it a nice textured finish so it feels comfortable in the, in your hands for long play time i just this plastic would get on this probably would get on my nerves um does it work as a grip it does and it gives you some variety so so as in um usability i would give it you know probably a five out of five because of the flexibility of the grips um it works as it is function as what they advertise is it's going to be uh, a good gaming grip your hand placement as well you'll have a good experience uh, once again that plastic man. Um, easy to install it was not really installed to it but one thing I, I will say that it was easy to kind of clip in I just know how good it is to get this to, uh, switch out let's see so I, I'm assuming you you uh, push this back I'm, I'm getting, uh, see that was easy yeah, but only thing I, oh, well, we're looking at there. 
this little clip here comes out too just in case you don't want that experience or you just want to just slide it in yeah see if you just wanted to slide it in and play you'll be fine there but if you want to hold it in place this little clip slides right out you slide this clip in and clips in there okay all right so that makes it a really really smooth experience it's not quite as smooth or easy as some other grips but i like that locking mechanism uh as long as it don't break you know it it i guess it's locking mechanism is it's in there pretty sturdy but if i put my finger down here underneath here and push forward it comes right on out so my switch slides out really simple um a plus for that a plus for for design definitely definitely a five out of five on design um five out of five for comfortability i think overall this gets a as a grip it gets a five point no, excuse me a, a 4.5 out of five um the major knock is the plastic man and it, you know it in the hollow feel of the unit um it's pretty sturdy uh, no problems there nice little soft rubber like tips in here so your switch won't get scratched up um and it's dockable. Who would have thunk it? And they didn't even advertise it was dockable, but it is very dockable. Get out of here. Um, I have to go, I'm gonna put it through one more test. I wanna make sure that it connects, and it looks like it will connect flush, but I wanna make sure it connects to my TV, so let me check it out, and then I'll verify for sure if this bad boy is dockable. All right, good people, without any further ado, I will let you know for sure that it is completely dockable. I docked it, it was powered up my system, I was able to connect to my TV. Excellent, excellent job. They did a wonderful job on this device here, man. Shout out to Skullcane. So, so far, man, this is probably the front runner grip to get. Um, I'll be on the lookout. I ordered a satisfied grip, so when that comes in, I'll review that one too. So right now, this is, hey, this is pretty good for the, for the price. The price wasn't bad, I just can't remember how much it was. It can't be no more. I, I know for sure I didn't spend no more than 20 bucks. But like I said before, the, the link will be in the description. Good people, man. What? Man, what a great grip. Just that plastic. This is your boy Gaming Dad. And thank you all for watching. And come out and join us every Monday night for This Week in Gaming. Where we talk about the latest and greatest news every Monday night. Chilled environment. I give out a free $10 eShop card every Monday night. So come join us Monday night, 9 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Once again, good people, this is your boy Gaming Dad, and I am out. Peace.